Hello, boys and girls. Today, we are going to talk about regrouping tens as ones. Before we have um, regrouped ones as tens, now we're going to be doing the opposite. Okay? So let me show you. Let me explain that. All right, right up here, we have five tens and three ones equals blank tens and blank ones. Okay? So we're going to do some regrouping so we have different numbers here than we have here. Okay, but let's start off with what with the numbers that we do have. So we have five tens, right? One, two, three, four, five tens, perfect. And three ones. Here we go. One, two, three, three ones. So five tens and three ones. Okay, so how many tens do we have right now? Five, right? We check that, we have five tens. And how many ones units makes up one tens rod? How many ones units makes up one tens rod? 10, right? 10 ones equals one 10. Okay, perfect. Okay, so why don't we, what if we took away this 10 rod and replaced it with 10 ones? Is five tens equal to four tens and 10 ones? Yes, because 10 ones is equal to 110. Okay, so we're going to add these ones over here on, uh, with the three ones. Oops, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so now how many tens do we have? Now we have four tens, right? And how many ones do we have? Now we have. 13 ones, right? We'll count and just make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Perfect. All right? Very good. So we just regrouped a tens rod to show that 110 equals 10 ones. Remember how before we were regrouping um, ones and taking 10 ones and then replacing it with one 10 rod. Well, we just did it the opposite way. We just took a 10 rod and regrouped it and replaced it with 10 ones instead of um, the other way around. Okay, so what we learned before, we're kind of doing it backwards now. We're doing it the opposite. Okay, okay, so we saw that five tens and three ones is equal to this right here, which is how many tens? four tens, and how many ones? 13 ones, okay? So, five tens, three ones, we'll check this. What number is five tens, three ones? 53, right? And let's see, four tens and 13 ones, what number we get? Well, we have four tens, so that'll get us to 40, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, then 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. So it also gives us 53. So five tens and three ones is equal to four tens and 13 ones. Okay, let's try another one. So let me move these guys out of the way. Let's try another one. All right, we are going to use three tens. And one one can get rid of that s there. All right, so three tens and one one is equal to we'll find out. So three tens, one one, perfect. All right, three tens, one one. What would that be equal to? Well, we're gonna regroup the ten as a ones. Okay, so we're gonna regroup our ten rod into how many ones? 10 ones, right? Because one 10 rod is equal to 10 ones, okay? So let's get our 10 ones back in here. And take away one 10 rod, right? Because we are trading them. So we're trading the 10 ones for the one 10 rod. So it's an equal trade. So it's still the same as three tens, one one. There's just a different number of tens and ones. Okay, so how many tens do we have now? One, two, right? We have two tens. And then how many ones? Well, let's count. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then we have eleven ones. Oopsies. Here we go. Eleven ones. Very good. So two tens and eleven ones. Okay, so three tens and one one is equal to two tens and eleven ones. Okay, we can double check again. All right, so three tens, one one equals what number? 31, right? Now let's check two tens and 11 ones and see if we get 31 as well. All right, so we have two tens, so 10, 20, then 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Very good, boys and girls, excellent. All right, let's do one more and then you can go ahead and get started on your worksheet. All right. Always good to practice and review a few something a couple times, especially when you're first learning it, boys and girls. It's always a good idea to do that. All right, here we go. Let's do two tens and two ones. All right, so let's bring our two tens back and put two ones here. Okay, two tens, two ones, nice and easy. Now let's regroup one ten rod as 10 ones, okay? So here are my 10 ones. Here's my 10 rod. We're gonna trade, right? So I'm gonna take away my 10 rod and bring the 10 ones. So it's an even fair trade. Okay, so now how many 10s am I left with? One 10, right? So I have one 10. There we go, we can kind of see that. And then how many ones do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait a second. There we go. I should have twelve. <laughs> I didn't quite make a fair trade, it looks like. So let's take a look again. So I had two ones and then I added ten more, which gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ones. Okay? So now we have twelve ones. My marker is running out of ink. There we go. Okay, so one 10 and 12 ones. So two 10s, two ones equals how much? 22, right? 22. Now one 10, 12 ones, what does that equal? Well, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So they are equal. Two 10s and two ones is equal to one 10 and 12 ones. All right, so boys and girls, you are gonna be doing these kinds of math problems on your worksheet today. So you're gonna have numbers like this, where it says like two tens, two ones, and then you're gonna to have to regroup one ten into ten ones for this part, okay? So take your time on this. It's a little bit confusing, and we learned how to do it the opposite way before, but this is important for us to um, practice subtraction and to learn more about subtraction. So I want to make sure that you understand this pretty well. So if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. But um, that is, so that is what we're doing. We're uh, regrouping tens into ones. All right. So boys and girls, I hope that you understood this lesson and that you're um, getting it. I, I can't wait to see your worksheets and see how hard you are working and keep up the good work, boys and girls. You've got this. You have been working so hard. I'm so, so proud of you.